Hey everyone, this is Brian Madden with Mission Pinball. Just want to show a demo of Mission Pinball version 0.18 and adding Fade Candy support. So here we've got our Demo Man machine running and over here uh, we have a Fade Candy. So I've just got a simple show that just uh, cycles this one LED through some different colors. Um, you see the Fade Candy uh, is connected uh, to the host computer along with a, a P-Rock being connected at the same time. Um, and here I've got, I've got it running. And I just, for sort of debugging purposes now, uh, just have this dump out uh, the log. But basically what I did is, um, first I had to break up the hardware interface so you can actually specify um, on a sort of hardware device class by device class, uh, different, like which hardware interface you want to use for each type. And then so here, um, I overrode the default. So here the hardware is set to PROC, the platform set to PROC for LEDs, I did open pixel. Um, and then I just configured uh, a couple of LEDs here. So that's just open pixel, uh, the channel number and the LED number. Um, by the way, you can also um, specify the hardware driver even on a specific LED by LED basis. So if you had a pinball controller that could support, you know, 256 LEDs, you can run them off there and then use the fade candy for the additional LEDs. Um, so this is all working. I just got to um, need to clean clean things up a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, focus. There we go. Um, so yeah, so fade candy support. Um, I'm gonna call that pretty much done. So just some cleanup tomorrow, and uh, we'll get this published.